please give it up for Letitia, Devine, Lovelace, Hanson bringing you We Gods Birth Ancestors, 12 Windows Keep the Soul. So I might just have to <laughs> cleanse a little bit, taste the moment a little bit, do you know what I mean? There's some words I want to share with you, words that keep me in the light. It's kind of scary to come from there to here and be seen. Is it lies? So I thought I'll try. Just listen. That's all I'm asking for. Just to be heard for a bit. To come into my ritual for a bit. <laughs> There's a voice. Well, there's quite a few actually. There's a voice. It's quite a few actually. There's a voice. Tell us who you are. Tell us who you are, that voice says. Tell us who you are, that voice. Go on, tell us who you are. <laughs> that voice says stop. Stop tapping away at your phone. Listen to me. Stop searching the gully swamps of Google and listen to me. 
Listen to the answers that you already know. Tell us who you are. Go on. Tell us who you are. Go on. You must know by now. As we watch you, we watch you watch us. Does that make sense? We watch you watch us. We love you, actually. We have always loved you. So we wait. We wait. We wait for you to tell us who you are. Who are you? That boy says. What? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh boy. How did that happen? You see all my life hidden in the fortress of forgotten stories, closed eye kisses, and lips bathed in the mouth water of your body's holy God. Oh, how did that happen? <laughs> how did you, woman, enter my life? Damn, it's so fine, it's so beautiful. How did that happen? <laughs> you see, all my life when birth rituals and funeral rites kept me quiet, kept me silent, kept me hidden. Ha! Boy, how did that happen? You held my heart to reach up to the beat of the sky and said, look up, dear, look up, see our daughter grow in our womb every time we fuck and birth and explode into new knowings. You said, open, open your life, open to the divine light living in your fingers. Go on, you said, open, you said, Boy, how did that happen? You woman, you beautiful, you be fine. So how can you be gone when you said that? How can you be gone? How could you be gone when you hid, when you turned, when you ran? You woman, you fine, you beautiful. There's another voice. It's my own. It says, I want to hold a seance. Is that all right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> cool. Okay, I've got you. Um, I want to try and hold a seance. I think that's what this is. I think. I think I want to hold a seance because I want to call up my mother and I want to call up the plantation and I want to hold a seance and raise up those ghosts and lay us to rest because that is the only way I can really be seen in this life, right? If we lay it up and if we rest and if we, if I hold, if we hold a seance, is that what I'm trying to say? I want to try and hold a seance because you know what? It's really hard to be a here and a there. Do you know what I'm saying? It's really hard to be a here and a there. That Person stuck in between two worlds because that's what othering does, right? That's what othering does to you. It's it's kind of I want to hold a sales, please. Can you help me? Can you breathe with me, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Breathe in and out. Can we do it again. In and out. Thank you. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try and hold this seance again. Because it's weird. I've been told it's mad to want to hold seances. <laughs> because it's, you know, it's wrong and it's to be feared and kind of fucking scary, isn't it? But you know what? I fucking need to hold this seance. Because to live is to be like I'm in a... I'm stuck in between a living and a, and a death, right? It's a, it's a hard thing to talk about to so many faces in the room and in this light. I mean, look, I actually had to bring a lemon from home to try and even go there. It's weird, it's a weird, thing, it's a weird thing to grapple with. So being a here and a there, let me go back to that place where I want to hold the sails. It means that I know the laws of this world and I chose to reject it. I chose to live, create my own world. <laughs> 
one out of light, one out of shape, and one out of laughter. So can we just laugh for a minute? Can we just? I know that's a weird thing to ask for, but can you just laugh with me for a minute? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you know what? I was born in hope. I want to hold a seance because I want to remember I was born whole, holy water, expansive, beyond any limit, any definition, any binary. We are more than controlled, silenced, invisibilized. I am more whole than you could have ever imagined, and we live in a here and a there, loudly. So you gaze upon us, you gaze and we hold that mirror up and show you more than you could have ever imagined because we hold light into your shadow, and I want to hold a fucking seance right there. Yeah? We are the joyous, awakened, sunken, buried, broken ghosts of the past, present, and future. And I want to hold a seance because we are reapers. And we live because we are masters of life and death. And we are everything. So there's another voice coming now. There's a <laughs> They're coming quick. <laughs> I want to check in with someone who, are you there, aren't you? You're there. I think, I think they're over there, so can you just help me out and just look over there for a minute? Conjure them, maybe. It's a hard thing to ask for, right? To pull someone back. Because it's been three years since they, he, his name is Brian. Brian, I want to tell you about Brian, I want to check in with Brian, so just give me a bit more time in this, whatever this is. Brian, I like how every morning when I get up and go into the front garden bit, you know that bit there, you know that bit, that shitty bit, <laughs> that shitty bit by the bins. But you know what, it's based on that London living, isn't it? So you're just going to kind of deal with it. <laughs> but in that shitty pit, I like to write in this book, my thankful book, Gratitudes, every morning, and start there. I want to start the morning there, conscious. And I look up in the shitty bit by the garden and I look up to bear witness to the shapes of the clouds and bask in the confidence of the sun and I think, Bruh, what is this? What is this raisin, blue, grey, black, purple, fair, greyness we too simply call the sky? It's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? To look up to the sky. To look up to the sky. And I hear the sound of birds, and I think, and I feel, and I hear them go about themselves. They sing and make choruses, echoes. And I look, 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 and I start to see you. Because all this looking, sometimes it feels like I'm looking for you, looking for me, looking for you, looking for me, looking for you. You. And this voice keeps going around and around, and I think, what is it? Is it me or is it you? I don't know. It's just something to do, right? It's just something to look for. And I'm, with, and it's hard to talk about in this place with you. In this, I don't know what this is yet. I still don't know, but I know that I'm looking for something. And it's been three years. Can you fucking believe it? It's been three years. So I just want to check in with you. I just want to check in and go. Are you still there? It's been three years. Are you still there? Because sometimes it's like. I just wish you were there, with all these people looking at me. Looking at me, looking at you, looking for you. I don't know who's doing the looking, but I just wish you were just sat there, seat the right, <laughs> right at the front. With your, with your contraband in your bag. <laughs> Planting chips, actually. <laughs> Waiting for the intervals so we can eat them together. Ready with anecdotes. Stories of you jumping off rooftops. You were no joke. Nah, you were a fucking goddamn reality. You were a world in itself. And you, took, you were just too much of this world, clearly. So you left. But before you did that, thank you. Thank you for teaching me how to look up to the sky and see you. To ground my day with you. Thanks for checking in. There's another voice. 
the last voice? Do you want to hear it? Thank you. <laughs> All right. I think it's the loudest voice, the strongest one. Rest in your hips. Earthquakes rest in your hips. Earthquakes rest in your hips. You break space apart with your lips. Arms reaching across scorching generations. Earthquakes rest in your hips. Earthquakes rest in your hips. You feel this, don't you? This fire summoning us into the mouths of your mother's lost oceans. You hear us. This voice is strong. You fuck like a fierce fucking god. You are a bleeding heart, a magic-making pact with bodies of unbelonging. You love the lost ones, and you tell us there is nowhere to go, but come here, come to us. You are a voice, you are a voice, you are a voice, and you dance forgiveness and rage in everything you do. You are a healing. Who are you, exactly, this voice? Who are you? You are me, what? The teacher, oh my goodness, okay. So you open your mouth and poems fall out to flood the planet in every portal you create. Each flick of nature you create, each flick of, flick of nature you create. Knowledge shackled into the flesh of your anointed being. You are a fucking God. You wake to the phone alarm every day. You are a morning bright, you are a birthright, you are a portal. You are making porridge every morning. You make a smoothie, don't you? You meditate just to be able to hear us, just to be able to know that we are okay inside of you because we are a community inside of you. You are a fucking God. You are a fucking God. And you wake to the teaching of every day as you move across Southeast London in this plane of profit. You cross roads, ride trains. You, you do what? You ride trains. Wow. Wow. In us, in you, we live to the maddening of lost alphabets in your tongue. You speak English as you bask and banish. You are a fucking God. You are a fucking God. And you remember us when they told you to never know us. You remember us when they told us to never. You are a fucking God. And we are going to protect you, child, because we watch you as you build your army out of portals and sermons and plays and teachings and poems. So pack your bags and know that you've done enough. You are enough. And it's okay to not make sense because there is sense in the madness, trust us. And that voice, those voices, they're actually your own. Every single one of them. And it's okay to speak sometimes. It's okay to wrap yourself in our cloth to hide. And when you want to, you'll come out. You've done more than enough. You are a living fucking God.